Today is day 350 of web development and today I'm just going to do a home page kind of trying to implement what I've been learning for the past few days which is using like FlexWrap to do my navigation bars. So um, I'm here in CodePen and I'm just going to tell CodePen like hey I'm writing in HTML5 so like this document type is in HTML which HTML is a shorthand for HTML5. Alright so I'm going to do HTML and my HTML tags. And so inside my HTML tags, I have my head tags. So again, that's for like any metadata or any like external links and then my body tags um, and anything that I put in my body tags is going to appear on my page. Um, okay, so I'll start off with a div and I'll give it a label by giving it a class and calling it container. And then I'll go to my CSS and real quick, just target the class by using dot notation. So dots for classes and hashtags for IDs and nothing for elements. So I'm gonna do container and give it a border property of five pixels black solid. So purple is basically a property and anything after the purple are values. And then I'm also gonna give this a height of 100 vertical height of the screen, which is what BH stands for, vertical height. All right, at this point, um, in the container, so I want a header, which um, my logo and my navbar is going to be. So I'm going to give an ID and I'm going to give it, I mean, I'm going to do it. What am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to do a div and I'm going to give it an ID of logo. And I'm going to do um, a div and give it a class of navbar. Um, and then in the navbar, just going to be like an unordered list. Unordered list means... Um, bullet point list instead of an order list which is numbered list and each list has a list item. Um, in this case I want each of my list items to be um, links. So I'll do that and I'll just kind of put this here and I'll give them the names so like home and this one can be contact. Oops. And then this one can be, I don't know, like pricing. Oh, um, hold on. My business thing, I did like a business generator thing. So it's going to be like a book one. Um, What's the one that I wanted to use? I wanted to use like Bookmate. Where is it? I can't even find it. Bookmate. Okay, Bookmate. It's literally the third one. Okay. So it's going to be, it's going to be kind of like a website. What the? No. So it's going to be like a website where you find like a book partner to read kind of so I I'm here on cover and I think I'm going to use one of these videos as the um showcase where's my stuff where's the oh it's the last one okay so I guess I won't do I'll do home um and then I'll do maybe like mission or wouldn't the home be like wouldn't be wouldn't mission be um at home okay maybe home um get a partner or like no that would be your call to action maybe I'll do mission and then home I'll be like find a partner or whatever all right so home mission contact that's my nav bar and then the showcase is um it's a whole different thing in itself no way where's my logo Header. I don't think I have. So my header holds that, so I have to put one over here, closing them over here. So that's for my header. Should be for my header. Hold on. One more. So container is this one. This one is my header. This one's my logo. Oh, it's that I didn't put a closing one in there. Okay, we can go delete this one now. So this is my logo, my header, my container, and then this one I can delete also. Okay, so just let me double check. So container has a header and the header has a logo and it also has a nav bar. All right, moving on. So the showcase, so the container not only has a header, but it also has a showcase and this is actually just going to literally be a video um so i'm going to do a video tag um and i believe in the video i put a source tag if i could actually ever spell something um and this is where i put the source of the video so the link so i'm just going to go here i don't know which one i want to use maybe um 
this one, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to right click, copy video address, and then go to my code pen and paste that in there. And then I'll go to video, and I'll change this to autoplay, um, muted, and then loop, so that it loops, it plays, and it's, you know, muted. Um, if I could actually spell autoplay. That, oh, great, so now I'm using numbers and words, that's great. Autoplay. Okay, so now I should be playing. Here. Okay, perfect. And now notice that it doesn't fit the size of the screen, so horrible. Um, so in order to fix that, um, I'm just going to go and open it in debug mode so I can see it. Okay, literally by. All right, so the video needs to be. Um, I want to select the video. It's not a class or anything or an ID, so it's just an element, so I can select it like that. I need to have a height of 100. Oops. 100% and a width of 100% or maybe one or the other um, of the um, showcase. Let me see. It needs to be... I don't even know. I don't even know why I have a container at this point. Like, there's no need for a container. Let me get rid of any margin and padding that there is here. So I'm just going to go here and get the margin 0 padding zero to get rid of all of that and then maybe I get rid of the height and then just do width 100% hmm or maybe just height 100% but then that messes things up even if I remove the height it doesn't really matter okay so that's what I'm going for all right so the header let me just go here and give it a few properties here. Um, the header, I'm going to give it like a blue border so it stands out. This needs to have a position absolute so that it's on top of the video. All right. And then it also needs to be a width of 80%. And then what I like to do is I like to give it a margin left oops, of 25%. Let me see how that looks like. Kind of like that, but maybe not. Or maybe a margin. I don't have to do. I could just do left. That would be the same. A little bit. So let's do 15%. Okay, much better. Um, at this point, I kind of don't like. Eh, whatever. So, let me think. Um, I need a logo, so it's going to be like Bookmate or whatever, so the logo is going to be a heading. Where even is it? Oh, it's over here. So it's going to be an H1, and it's going to say Bookmate. Okay, so it's going to be that, and then let's see. So the logo, is a, it's an ID, so I'm going to do logo, and I'm just going to give it a border here of white. And I'm going to do the same thing for the nav bar, which is a class. So at this point, to kind of fix this, I want um, them to be side by side. So what I'll do is, um, I can do this two ways. I can use display grid. So I can go here to the header and give it a display of grid. And then give it a grid template columns of one of R, one of R, which separates the blue container into two equally spaced columns. Um, another equivalent way to do this is if I just did repeat two times 1FR, same thing. Um, and then I could do a grid gap of maybe 1EM, which is equivalent to 16 pixels, and that would give some gap in between, so I could see what that's going to look like here. Alright, so at this point, um, I want everything in the header to have a font. Well, I want it to have a color of white. So, oh wait, no, ew. Well, no, hold on, not really. Let me go more specific. Um, in the logo, I want everything to have a color of white. There we go. Um, I wanted to, maybe not, maybe let me just be more specific. So the logo's H1, I want it to have a color of white. I also want it to have a font size of maybe um, 40 pixels. And then maybe it be all uppercase. So text transform is a property that we use. And if we set the value equal to uppercase, it will change to all uppercase. So yeah, we can fix the font later. 
Um, for the nav bar, notice if I do color white, it won't actually change the color of the um, links because the color of the links actually pertains to or belongs to the A tag. So I'll have to do nav bar or actually in the nav bar, there's an unordered list, list item, and then A. And then I can check or change the color of the A. And I can also remove the underline, which is also an A uh, property. So text transform and set that to not, not text transform, text decoration. And change that to none, and that removes the underline. I would also kind of um, do the same things here, except maybe um, not so much. Has the font? All right, something like that. All right, so at this point, I want um, everything, um, the nav bar, to move all the way to the right. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set the nav bar and give that a display. of flex and then I'll say um, justify content towards the right so it um, moves the content towards the right horizontally and then align items center centers the content vertically but it's already kind of centered vertically if you can see that. Um, now notice that it's all um, on top of one another. So the way I can fix this is if um, I go to UL and list item and I give this a display of inline and so it's going to move to be in the same line each um, thingy. What do you call it? Each um, um, link. And then I also want there to be some gap between each flex item which now is each like, link. Um, and so the way I'll do that is here I'll say gap and maybe do 1EM. Or not. Oh, you know what I just realized? I think it's an unordered list. But I have to do gap 1 em. But then I also have to make it a display of flex. There we go. Um, so the nav bar, I gave it a display of flex so that I can move it towards the right, but the unordered list is actually inside of the nav bar. At nav bar, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, and which actually contains each of the flex items, which in this case are each of the links. And so that's why the gap one EM works in this case when I set the UL to be display flex and not in this case. Um, and then I could also set the flex wrap to be wrap. Um, if I comment this out real quick, even if I save that and I go back over here and I kind of do this, you can see that even if I move the, the screen, um, it doesn't wrap, it's very unresponsive. And so you can fix that by setting the flex wrap to be wrap. And so now that you go here, oops, and you move the screen, you can see that. Wait, 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 what's going on? Did I not save it? Well, at least it works here. See, it's wrapping here. There we go, it's wrapping now. So you can see that it wraps around, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, so now for each A, I'm also going to give it a background. Um, and then maybe I'll give it a background of um, white for now. And then change the color of this to be black for now. And then give this a padding of maybe 10 pixels for now. Um, oh, I meant white here. Why would I put the black. Oh, that's why. Alright, and then give it, or each, a, a border radius of 20 pixels. Something like that, so we can see something like that just for now. Um, I also want the header to kind of be a little bit lower, so I'll maybe go back to the header, um, and I'll give it from the top maybe 20 pixels, so that it moves from the top 20 pixels. There we go. Um, and I think that's good. Um, I could also do something that when I hover over the A tags, um, it could change the background color to something else. Although maybe I want kind of something like a linear gradient, but I don't know what, what would go together with this. Maybe, um, oh my God, I forgot. I need my Chrome 
um, color picker that I had on my old laptop. I don't know if... <sighs> Maybe this. It's a new one though. Alright, so let me go back here and then... I want like the color of her dress. Why can't I? I'm so confused. Hello? I'm so confused. I want to use pick a color from the web but it's not letting me. Like what? You know what, whatever. I'm just gonna pick like a normal. I don't I just don't think it goes with it. Hmm. Nah, it's worth it to find my color picker. Color by Maybe if I just get rid of this one, move this one, go back here. Oh, this is so old school, I can't even. Page color, color picker, what is this? The color from, okay, thank God. I need, why is it brown? It's not brown, it's pink. This ain't gonna work out. It's literally all brown, even if it was brown. Hello? Yeah, it's not working. Um, I mean, I guess I could do brown. Maybe her hair. Alright, so this is the color I'm going to go with. Maybe, I don't even know at this point. I'm going to go to my colors page. And where's the palettes? I'm just going to paste this color in here. And then I'm just going to go to CSS Gradient. Paste this first color in here. And then go and use a shader and pick a lighter color. And then just paste it in here. And so that should work out that way. And maybe a color. Actually, maybe even a lighter color. Yuck. Yeah, thank you. But I need this one to be here and then this one to be here. I got it so ugly. Nope, I need this one to be here. Oh my god, and this one to be here. Much better. Alright, and so now I'm going to take the CSS and go to code pen and give this that background here. And then, um, ugh, it just looks so ugly, let me tell you. Ah, well, it's giving a library, so I guess it's good. Let's see. Um... You know what I need to do? Give it a gap of 2 a.m. because when it's definitely looking ugly when I do that. Let me do this again. Nice. Much better. Alright. Um, what was I doing again? Oh, hovering. I don't know what I wanted to do. Maybe I wanted to switch. So maybe now I want them to be in a different order. So I guess I could just do that myself. So I could just change this. 
And then instead of doing that, I can do um change this one to be here and change this one to be over here. And notice that doesn't even work because the Z, because this is a problem I stumbled upon the other day. So when I create um, this navigation bar, it's actually behind the video, even though you can clearly see it on top. The actual links are actually behind. So what I like to do is just do Z index one here, and then I like, and then it it, it just fixes the issue clearly. So because Z index, if you go in Blender, why am I even mentioning Blender? Z index, um is kind of like an up and down axis. So you know how in math class you only have your y and your x axis? Yeah, well in real life there's a up and down one which is the z axis which kind of goes through the middle. Um, and basically it's kind of like layering things on top and so it's like saying okay this is going to be layer one while everything else is like layer zero. So it's basically saying um, this has higher priority so make it go on top of everything else. And so now that it's on top of everything else um, I could actually, you know, access the links and it's going to change that way. And you can see that it changes. Um, I just hate the colors, but it's whatever. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, so I did that. Um, let me get rid of the border here. And then I'll be able to see that like that. And yeah, maybe just bring it down a little bit more. Where's my code pen? Oh, I'm literally on it. Like, okay, for the header, maybe instead of 20 pixels, let's do 40. Okay, and maybe instead of 80%, maybe let's, oh, not the width, let's do maybe 12%. So it moves a little bit more to the right. I think that's good. Book me. Um, I could also maybe change. Oh, the fonts. Almost forgot. So I'm gonna go to Google Fonts. Um, for so I'm gonna use Lado. So I'm just gonna copy this link. By the way, you get here by going searching up Lado, clicking on this, going to regular 400, adding the style. Then it should pop up over here in the selected families. And then you want to click on link, copy the link. And then go back to your code pen or your HTML file, however you're working on it, and just paste it into your head links. So now code pen knows what you're referencing to when you use the following CSS properties um, or um, to, to use, you know, Lado. So in this case, I'm going to go here and set it for my A so you can see that it changes. I'm also finally going to set it back to white. Um, and then I'm going to change, um, what was I, what was I saying I was going to do? Change, should I change this? Oh, no, I don't even know. Um, maybe I'll use a bolder version. So maybe bold, um, 700 and I'll just, just copy this and what it'll do is if you have multiple ones it will just add on to the link and so you could just go back here and delete the old one and it's just still gonna work and just use this one here and then go to my code pen and then for the logo just put that on right there and it should change right there all right so paste that and then that should work there um, anything else? Um, oh, notice the container is the black border around it. So notice that the video is actually going over um, the container. And so the way we fix this is by going to the container. Do I even have, I didn't even select the container. Wait, yes I did because it has a border. So where is it? Right here. And instead of 100 VH, I do min content. And so... I go here, you can see that the container kind of goes to the minimum content. Um, there's also a thing with the showcase. Um, if I give this a border five pixels purple solid, you'll see it appear. And so I guess I could fix that human content as well. I don't even think I needed a showcase in this example, but it's not even working. Min content, maybe if I just delete the showcase, 
Where is it? <gasps> Wait. Oh. What if I just delete the showcase? Still like that, which is really odd. So then I'm asking myself the question. How? What causes that gap then? Hmm. Video has a width of 100% and the height is mid content. Mid content for the container also. This doesn't even exist anymore. Um. Um, I don't think there's anything else that would affect this. I just know it's completely unresponsive, like, here, because, like, I mean, look at this. So not good. Um, oh, the one thing I forgot is actual title stuff. So, um, but usually the title stuff is on the right, but her face is on the right, so it would be really bad if I put stuff over her face. Anyway, oh, that's why I wanted a showcase, because I was going to put stuff in there. All right, let me put the showcase back up, and then let me... What did I just do? And then let me go back up here and put it in here. So inside the showcase, I was going to put a few other things. So I was going to do a div class. Um, let's say, like, um, content. And then I was going to do, like, h1, and I was going to do, like, um... Find your book meet today. And then I was going to do like a page ref. And I was going to call it, um, or like, let's say, Sent me, how do you call it? Um, sent me up with a bookmate or what's a call to action? Find your bookmate today. Um, set me up with a bookmate or um, set me up with a bookmate. Find my bookmate. Find maybe just find. Does that even make sense? That doesn't even make sense. Um, find your bookmate today. Find your reading partner in Prime. Find your reading partner to death. Find your reading. Oh, it's same thing. Find your book meet today. Now what's a call to action? Huh. Let me look at Goodreads. Well, Goodreads is like find a book or something. Or browse. <sighs> hmm. Well, there's really not even anything here. So, um, what's a good call to action? Um, find your bookmate today. Um, find... I kid you know, I don't even know. Find, find your bookmate today, href, and then call to action, set me up, set me up, mate me, <laughs> imagine, I put like mate me, that sounds so wrong, um, set me up, let us set you up. with your bookmate today. Maybe that's better. All right, now it looks a little bit messy, but we can fix it, we can fix it. The way we fix this, I don't know, I'm just gonna go with it. Let's see, how do we fix this? So, um, I have um, do, 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 content, okay. So I'm just gonna go here, content. If I could ever spell, oh my God, what's going on with me? I'm just gonna give it a border. Just paste that in there. Alright, um, okay, so I'm also going to give it a width. I have 20 pixels. Oh, you know what? I should have done that. Should have done, should have um, made it different things. Hmm. Why does it have a background? Is my question. Um, 
position. Oh, it doesn't have a background. It's just going above. So position absolute. Um, and maybe not position absolute, but maybe position relative. Or maybe not. I don't know. Position relative to the showcase or the video. Uh, and maybe from the top. 50%. No, it's going to have to be absolute. Oops, that's horrible. 20%. Can you see this? It's a little looks like. That's horrible. Okay, so in here, the font size of the content H1. It's not even. It needs to be like 50 pixels. And it also needs to have a color white. Um, let me see everything that's here. Put that in there. Oops. Oh no, I don't want it to be ladder. I want it to be the other one. This stuff over here. Just paste it in here. Right, let us set you up with your bookmark today, and maybe we can do a width. It's not the width of the content that I want, it's the width of the paragraph. Or not the paragraph, the age one. So maybe we can do that. Would look a little bit better. And then I could also do dot content A, and then I could give it the same properties as this one, or I could have just done a class, honestly, at this point. Um, you know what? Maybe I could do a class. No, nah, because then nah, I just rather maybe not right now. Um, just put that there. Okay. And obviously, give it um, you know, go to the H one and give it a margin bottom of maybe twenty pixels so that there's space between the button and the text. Put that there. Um, and then also I want it to have a hover effect so. I'm just going to copy this and bring that a little bit down over here. I'm just going to change this to content A instead. So now that happens when I hover over it. Um, so that works. If I save it. Hmm, interesting, it's not working. So I think it's going to have to do with the Z index. So I'll also have to set this to have a Z index in the same layer as one. Interesting. Two. Three. Two or one and the Z index negative one. Interesting. But it works though, but then the paragraph doesn't. You can see what's on top of everything. Interesting. So the content Oh, I'm so dumb. Why am I dumb? I'm so dumb. Um, it needs to be one. It's because I, the semicolon, I was like, where's the border? Alright, um, it needs to be one, but it also cannot be one. Because look at what happens. But that doesn't really matter in this case, it's um, absolutely unresponsive. Um, but it still works that way. Alright, and then I could just move it a little bit more down, so from the top. 40%, um, and then from the right, 20%, I'm just going up around this, okay, that's horrifying, 5%, what? Oh, from the left, I'm so dumb, okay, that makes much more sense, um, and then, oh, actually, I think I wanted to do it on the right, but it doesn't really make sense, maybe if I flip the video, eh, I don't even know. Okay, um, I give you a font size. What was I going to do again? Oh, a font size of 70 pixels. Maybe not, maybe 65. Yeah, okay, and then from the top, maybe 38%. Maybe 35%. Maybe just 30%. Like, 
really? Whatever. And then get rid of that border. Okay. Um, and then it should be aligned, though, to the bookmate, so I'll have to move it from the left, maybe 10%. Perfect. Let us let us set you up with your bookmate today. Set me up. And if I click on that, it should work. All right, home, mission, content, bookmate, and I think that's good. Um, should I move it to the right? Because it looks... I don't even care at this point. I was just trying to practice my foot swap. Um, what was I going to do again? Oh, remove the border of all this stuff. This is ridiculous. It's so bad. Um, get rid of the border. Where is the border? Is here. The border of the showcase. And the border of the container. And this is the final result. And it's definitely not responsive if you move it this way. But the nav bar at least is responsive. <laughs> Um, so it's responsive until it kind of sets up this way. You know what I could do though? Um, I can go to content. Not really. I should have done the showcase. I should. Huh. Well, it works kind of like that until, you know, it gets, the video doesn't increase in size. It stays that width of the screen, which is, a, it's not a problem, but everything else should decrease with it, though. And then the rest of the web page should be at the bottom here. Um, I just have to, do I want to? Because I definitely can fix this right now. Maybe, maybe not. I'll try it. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to go here to at media. Let the, okay, and I'll just do um max width and let's say, I don't know, 400. We'll see if that works. Um, And then at 400 pixels, I'll kind of just change everything. So the um logo, I have to go here go here and put this. It's basically just making a new version of this. So the logo of the H1 has to kind of decrease dramatically if it's less than 400 pixels. But what is this? Hold on, let me do control shift I um, and just no, 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 no. So what is this? Dimensions responsive. This is crazy. But it ain't responsive, so that's not what I want. I wanted, um, uh, let's see, what did I want? Why do you put this in the bottom? Oh, this is why I'm not. Okay, so once it starts hitting up 10, 29 pixels, that's what I want. So I have 10, 29 pixels. What? No. 10. 20 pixels. 1,000. Um, so we 800. 600. Thank you. Really makes sense. Okay, so 600. There we go. So it, it decreases, which is what I wanted. And then I'll go back to the nav bar. And I will just grab these over here and put them down here and then just change the font size to if this was 30 I don't know maybe 10 pixels there we go perfect and then the content h1 along with the content A, I also need to change. So we put that in here. So content H1, instead of 65, let's maybe do 25 pixels. And for 
and then change the width of it, obviously. So instead of 500, let's do 3, 200. Okay, and then actually maybe 300. Uh, maybe 250. Pretty beautiful. And then from the top, I also need to do the content. So content, where is it? From the top, let's do 20% instead. And then let's move the A to B 10 pixels. Is this thing okay? I literally, oh. I do want it to be 20 pixels though. And maybe not 10 pixels, but 15 pixels would work out. And then 15 pixels over here would also work out. But then that does that. Alright, let me close this up. So if I do this, it's more responsive, see? Um, but then I think I need to do a little bit better. So maybe from 700 pixels, I need that to happen. Um, or maybe 700. Nope, maybe 800. Nope, 900 or let's say 1,000. Oh, never mind. So that wasn't reloading the page. I'm so dumb. Let's do 800. Reload, okay. So I think we can just keep it that way, maybe. Maybe 700. Oh, yeah, no, this cannot be happening. Hold on. So at this point, I just don't know what. Oh my god, breathe. Okay. Um, Can you go on the bottom? Yes, thank you. That's what I wanted. Um, So 1280. And then at this point, I just put this down. I move this so at literally a thousand pixels that's when the problem starts so at a thousand pixels that's when it starts so if I just close this now it goes and does that so it does this um but then okay so we need maybe let me just run myself copy this. So this is going to be good for later, but then 1000 pixels, maybe I want it to be a little bit bigger. Everything could be a little bit bigger like this over here. So um, for the content, um, H1, I need the font size to be way bigger like it was, so maybe 55 pixels. Really? Oh, it says I have overwritten over here. Let me go back down. Maybe let this be for like 800 pixels. So save that, reload here. Okay, much better. And then the width of it though can be, um, the width of the content H1 could be how it was, which I don't even know what it was anymore. It was 400 pixels. Maybe we could do 500 and then just move it from the top a little bit much better and then the button though can be a little bit bigger so we can go here and change this to And then change. Where is the media? Okay, change this one. Thirty. Nope. Never mind. I changed the wrong thing. This is fifteen. And then the content. 
H A should be something like 20 pixels. Mm, I think that's it. All right, so yeah, we got it to be a little bit more responsive, which is good. Um, and then this happens. So then at this point, 100 pixels, it should still hold on. It could still be that way. Maybe, but from here, um, let me change this to be maybe when it hits 600 pixels. Let me see what it looks like from here. Which is an issue, so. Okay, so from when it hits, like, let's say, maybe 700 pixels, and then I'll do the same thing, but for one that says 600 pixels, I want it to just be um, this a little smaller. So for the um, content H1, maybe dumb that down to 20 pixels. So... That's a different type of thing. Wait, but hold on. Up until now. Hold on, let me do control shift I. So up until 754 pixels. That's after 800, so 74, 754. Whoa, no, 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 that's what I meant. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, let's go back. All right, so after this, this is what I have so far. So once it reaches six, or once it reaches 700, it does that, which is fine. But I need something in between like seven, like between 800 and 700. So once it reaches 800, in the middle over here, but I think one is 800 and the one is 1000. So once it reaches 800, which should be right here in the middle, I just do 800 pixels. I need it to be A little bit better. So once we just 800 pixels, let me see. Let me do this. 800. It definitely needs to be bigger, but not that bigger. So the let me just close this and this. And this. Um, the A or the H1 has to be let's say like 40 pixels. Let me just reload that and see. Okay. So once it reaches 800, it does that, but I need the width of it to be also increasing to maybe 450 pixels. Just like that. And then from the top, just go a little bit lower, maybe 25 pixels. So that happens here. And then, I think that's as responsive as I'm going to get it to be today. Alright, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. This is my page. So, yeah, and it's obviously, I don't even know. Um, I'm just going to go with it. I mean, and if I do this, it's as responsive as it gets, you know? Alright, that's it for today. Bye.